there's a lot of confusion about this in our country today. Um, I think mostly because there's a great will, goodwill among the American people of recognizing that we don't want the church to be telling the government how they should elect their leaders, for example, saying, hey, elect this guy because he's going to help us. Help elect this lady because she's going to help us. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. And we don't want the government either to be coming in and saying, hey, church, this is how you got to be running your hospitals, your churches, et cetera. A lot of goodwill. Mm -hmm. But then there's confusion because also we say, well, separation of church and state. Therefore, why is it that the church would be somehow exercising its authority or of its power or its influence over decisions of the federal government like the health and human service mandate. We say, no, the church should be staying out of government. No, there should be a separation between church and state, but there should not be separation between our faith and our policies in government. Faith needs to not only help and encourage us in the living of our political life, but it should influence too the way in which we stand up when the government says, we're going to intrude upon you and tell you how you should be running your churches or how you should be acting as a church body. And we can't stand for that. And this was not something just against the Catholics. No, we're talking here about religious liberty. We're talking here about any government, no matter what administration it happens to be. If we allow a government to come in and say, you have to do this in the name of the common good, we have to fight back. And it was wonderful to see evangelicals, Protestants, Jewish, Muslim, Orthodox coming and saying, hey, right now it might be the Catholics, but if we let them come after the Catholics, who are they going to be going after next? James and Betty, I really do believe that we're at a critical point right now in our country. And um, it has to do with whether or not we are going to band together. I don't, I don't mean just evangelicals and Protestants. I mean people who recognize that religion and faith has something to say in our society.